everyone welcome back to the channel happy new year by the way this is our first trip of the season doing a little bit of bank fishing right behind me is the texas city floodgate a lot of you that are local to my area really know what this spot's about i am trying to see what's going to be out here hopefully lady luck is going to be on our side let's see what happens of mosquitoes out here y'all let's get this guy cast out and uh, we're gonna throw some uh, I'm just gonna set this down it's gonna be one of those long waiting games just keep an eye on my rod I'll run out there in that water if I have to you know grandpa has those little like metal rod holders and these are heavy duty that were built himself and they're welded out of rebar, like thick rebar for concrete. And he's got where you can like whack it with your foot or a hammer. I'm gonna see if he'll give it to us. Here's what we're gonna do. Reel this in and put a fresh shrimp on. I mean, we got tons of them, and if we're not getting the bite, we may as well get our money's worth out of those fellas. What we have left over will more than likely get vacuum sealed with the Weston. I tried to clean up the little space around my area. I mean, we couldn't, We this is prime rib for a fish. What we're using, this, it's like the creme de la creme. I would love to run the hummingbird through there and see what's down there. Great. I'm snagged. That drop shot weight should have already gave and fell off. I just hope and pray that we can get our entire rig back. I don't want to have to reset up. Gosh, I don't think that's going to happen, y'all. There we go. Oh my gosh. May have lost our weight. That's the way it was designed. No. Got our weight. Everything. Yeah, baby. It's going to be a great day. It's impossible to come fishing out here and not show the litter. Oh my gosh. Here we go. All right, got a little bit closer to the current that time. Oh my god, we've been cast right here where a cormorant is actively hunting. I just don't want to get snagged again. That's something that I am not used to. I, get, I mean, I, I do get snagged when I'm on the kayak, but I can go right over towards it and just shimmy my lure and whatever it is that I'm using out here, you're subjected to the bank and you're... Uh-oh, uh-oh, is that the current? I think that's the current. But here, yeah, you're subjected to the bank and pulling it out and there's probably a lot of fish in line down there as well. Just lost my first setup. Can't say that I'm surprised. All right, let's get y'all a, a quick update. There's really not been much going on. We just tied on our second 
little rig. That's a drop shot weight right there. I think it's like a 3 8 ounce. And then we're also doing a battery swap for the camera that is on my head, the hat cam. I'm gonna swap out the battery to the tripod. That one's almost dead, so let's get that guy changed out as well. Yeah, 11% life. Power this guy down and then uh, we'll get another shrimp and get that out there. <sighs> this is going to be our last ditch effort before actually packing it up and going home for the day. Load up the kayaks and come out for a better opportunity. We could do what oh boy is doing right over there on the opposite side of the floodgate. Just thought that the uh, high winds was going to make it a little bit hard but got to work smarter not harder that is for sure okay all the way over here and all I'm gonna do is like a free line type thing just cast it out there let it sink down and then reel the darn thing back in Christian has got a fish on right now, y'all, and he doesn't have a battery in his GoPro hat, so let's see what he's got. Yeah, I had my camera away because of the rain earlier, and I was dead. But it was the craziest thing when, um, uh, you know how we've been getting those, um, like, bait thieves will come yeah. to your shrimp? I was just bored and I'm like, well, I bet my shrimp's gone. I started reeling in and it was just pure tension. It was that big old black drum right there. Um, you gonna take a photo with it? Uh, no, I'm all right. You sure? Yeah. I just need to um, grab some grips and stuff. They're on the, uh, the bait bucket. Support its belly, there you go. Under the mouth and its belly. This one's definitely ugly. <laughs> He's had a rough life, you can tell just by all oh, the uh, scarring that he's got all over him. Dolphin or something? Yeah. Maybe when he gets stronger. There he goes. Nice. Good job. Yeah, it was definitely unexpected. I mean, yeah, I guarantee it was. Super slow. Nobody catching anything. I'm going to go back over there and see if I can uh, get something. There we go, there's a thump. Hey, he's got it. There we are, we got him. He's in that current, so we just gotta fight him out of it. We got six pounds of drag on this little reel. Now, Granted, this is meant to catch crappie and bluegill, but it's definitely more than enough muscle to go after these saltwater fish. Got an ultralight rod, seven foot long from old 18 Outfitters.
Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's not fighting like a red. I'd be happy when I see that leader line. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's big, whatever it is. Oh, it is a red. Holy cow, dude. That dinner is served, y'all. <laughs> Son, I am happy to see you. Holy cow. Look at this, y'all. It's a good hook set, too. Ugh. I'm used to catching these in the marsh. Chill out. Mm. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. 26 inch red right there. And we got 80% chance of rain at 2 o'clock. So we got about an hour left to fish. And before we run out of time, what I'm going to do is remove the innards of the red that we just caught. So let's get that knocked out. Get to use my brand new knife. I've had this before and uh, throughout time it basically just broke right here at the handle and so feels good to have another one. what we're working with we got those San Marcos chipotle peppers open that up I was able to find this small tiny little can right here it is uh, three and a half ounces the other one's a little bit bigger and we normally waste a lot of it so I wanted to go this route that's what I kind of figured we were gonna run into right there the chili peppers are gonna have to be pulverized down because look at that they're whole and I want them to be like pulverized. So we've got chipotle, some shallots for the onion flavor, garlic, and we let the butter sit out overnight so it's nice and soft. We're going to be able to make a good paste out of this right here. Everything's going to go in here. Check this out. This is genius. Look at that. Pressed garlic. Voila. We'll take our shallots and we're going to run it through the press as well. Hopefully it'll do the same thing. Fit inside that press. All right. Keeping my fingers crossed, y'all. Yeah, it worked. I'm just a firm believer in fresh is always best. You can taste the freshness of a dish whenever you take the time to go through this process right here and uh, it makes a world of difference. This got some good smell though. The aroma from the chipotle. Nice smoky flavor. Even though our dish is going to go inside the grill, this smoky flavor will help out as well. All right, this is going to be the last one that I'm going to press through. And then we'll mix in our butter. It's nice and soft. Now we'll take our Bacardi muddler right there for mojitos and old fashions and everything else. And we're just going to muddle this all together. All right. That looks good. Next we'll take and do some cross hatches. We're going to score our redfish so that we'll be able to get all the flavor deep down inside here. Now this is redfish on the half shell. You can see that we've got the scales and the skin still on there. That's gonna act as our plate whenever we throw it on the grill. I'll we'll throw some sea salt on there. So let's get that. And so we take our little rub and that's all we're gonna do is just rub it in. And what I, going to try to do is kind of bend it backwards so that we get that rub inside each little cross section. There we go. 
go. I think that was more than enough. The butter is going to help to keep it moist as well. And butter and seafood, I think that's a match made in heaven. You can't go wrong with that at all. What's in that? Chipotle, shallots, garlic. <laughs> De ser tu juguete ya me había acostumbrado Mil veces que ya yo te perdono Por eso le doy gracias a Dios que hoy en día no te tengo aquí a mi lado Ella es una actualización Una actualización Por la manera que esas cosas se rebotan Se me están curando este corazón Ella es una actualización it's been a while since we've done redfish on the half shell and it's got a really nice smoke flavor to it. So uh, thanks for watching y'all. That's gonna do it for this one. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us that thumbs up button. If you're interested in the gear that I use, I don't talk about it a lot. But that's listed in my video description down below. You can take advantage of some savings by uh, way of like 20% off on the rods that I use from Old 18 Outfitters and then some of the lures. So go down there, check it out if you're interested. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.